You can now design like a pro with AI. I'm not a designer, but in minutes I was able to make this. Pretty good if I can say so myself. You'll also see some amazing features like free image generation with Dolly 3, removing people from the background and so much more. So let's dive into Microsoft Designer. Now that we're on the inside, you can see all of the different features that they've just added. The image creator that uses Dolly 3, the design creator that can create a bunch of designs, generative arrays that you can see you can remove people from the background, the remove background, blur background and the brand kit creator, which is coming soon. At the bottom, they have some designs for social media, but we're going to go to the first tab, the image creator. As you can see, this is how it looks like when we go inside and all we need to do to make an image is just describe the image you want to create. Let's try a dog with a top hat sitting inside of a robot with controls, generate, and here are the results. If you ask me, this is pretty cute. Now the options we have is we can click on the image and we can download the image. There is no remix or try again with the same prompt, except we have one button in the bottom called explore more examples. This just takes us back to the beginning again. So let's just check out one more image. Treehouse full of gadgets like a telescope, a slide and antennas. And just like that, we pretty much have the coolest treehouse around. Jesus Christ, these look cool. But all of these are in square aspect ratio. So I just want to check if we can write AR 16 by 9 to get a horizontal. Okay, it seems like we can only generate square images, which is kind of annoying. But let's go to the second feature generative arrays. So I'm going to drag a photo in here, click on upload and let's see what it can do. As you can see, when I'm hovering over this, it's kind of selecting them on its own. So I'm just going to click here. Then I'm going to click on this tablet and it seems like everything is selected. Maybe just a little bit down inside of here and here, but it's probably going to auto select that anyways. I'm going to click a little bit more around my beard as well. And now let's erase object. And there you have it. <laughs> it's actually not that bad, especially since my entire body is covering like most of this image. This is especially cool if you are in a touristic location and there are some tourists in the background. Let's see what we can do here. Here's how to build an AI avatar in 60 seconds that you can have a conversation with. The app is called Kubi AI. Now that we're on the inside, you can discover a bunch of these avatars that you can talk with. I'm going to try this character, Serafina. So you can see that her eyes are actually moving and listen to this. Hello there, Seeker. What mysterious tapestries of life can I unravel for you today? I'm wondering why I can place an item on the table and it's on the table, but I just can't see it. My eyes are just blind. Ah. The veils of perception can be elusive. Perhaps your gaze searches for what lies beyond the surface. What about this one, Kaka? Remember to cut the pink tape on the screws. I don't care how. Just get me out. Like some hostage situation or something? All right, I'll cut you loose. Come. Hurry the F up and free me already. What are you waiting for? I can't lie, this is actually kind of fun. You can also create your own in three steps. Here are some good examples and some terrible examples. Try to take a photo and click on next. Now I do the gender pose sitting location. Let's do room. I'll write a description and generate image. Okay, I mean, decent, but let's check the other side. All right, this one actually ain't that horrible. Just a better looking version of me. Now I can add the language, voice, name. Let's listen. Beginning is always today. Not bad. Name Andy. I'll give him an identity, personality and story background by clicking on this icon in the top right for inspiration. An eccentric time traveling inventor. That's pretty good. I'll generate the avatar and complete the creation. Chat with Professor Andy. Professor Andy, is that you? I can't believe it. Butter my biscuits. You've discovered my ingenious invention. We're going to meet the legendary Leonardo da Vinci smack dab in Renaissance Florence. Ready for a mind boggling trip through time? Yes, let's travel back in time and meet Leonardo da Vinci. Buckle up and let's defy the laws of physics together. Renaissance Florence, here we come. This is actually kind of fun. Check out QBAI Avatar and Adventures on the Android Play Store. Thank you so much to QB for sponsoring this section of the video. Let's see what we can do here. Generative arrays 
and let's try to select the people down here. So see all the different selections that we can do. Even the water is almost perfectly selected. And now let's click on the people. Perfect selection. Let's click a little bit more on this guy and this guy. And now let's erase them out of this picture. In about 10 seconds, they all disappeared. I don't know about you, but this looks almost 100% perfect. Can't see any different artifacts much. Even the difference between the black and the sand here is literally perfect. So this is really useful. What else might be useful is the next feature called remove background. I use a tool like this on a weekly basis, but is this better? Let's click on the remove background on this image and let's see what happens. That was really quick. The selection is a little bit bad, even around the neck and ears. I wouldn't call this perfect, but it's kind of a hard image. Let's try another one. Say we just wanted this Viking woman on the top of the mountain with an ax. I'm going to click on remove background and there you have it. It starts out pretty blurry and then it actually did a really good selection, like maybe some around here and on the left side. But if I put maybe a blue shape under her, we'll see if yeah, it did it really well. Maybe this is the only part that I don't really like that much. Let's try with this image. It does do a pretty decent job, but there is no way to kind of deselect the parts where it didn't do so well. So this one doesn't get the best score for me. So we tried the generative erase, the remove background, but what about the blur background? I've uploaded this image and let's just see what happens. Just like that, we got some blur and it's actually looking pretty good. Let's try it on this one, blur background, and it seems like it actually blurred the foreground as well. The main issue that I'm seeing is you can't actually have a brush or select over the image after it's finished blurring. Like you can see this spot here didn't work so well. And let's check out the next feature, design creator. And here you can see the type of designs that it can make for you. Let's prompt it an Instagram post of a 40% off Black Friday sale for a tech company, main colors, black and yellow. They also have add media here where you can add your own images or you can even generate the image with AI. I'm just going to click on generate to see how it is without much other details. Here you can see the templates that it gave us and it wasn't exactly my favorite. This one looks kind of cool, but it's no tech. So let's try again, but let's generate an image. What image do we want to create? I just prompted it a bunch of tech products inside of a box. Let's check it out. And I think this fits a lot better. I'm going to select it and then I'm going to try to generate again. As you can see, it's using this image popping into the box and these are the results that we got. But it's obviously not perfect. So I'm going to select this template here and then we'll go to the next step, which is to customize design. Now you can see that we're inside of this canvas where we can actually do a lot of things. I'm going to change the background to black to blend it in a lot more. I'm going to click on the text and I'm going to change it to white. I'll change this text to white as well. And right off the bat, it's looking pretty cool. I'm going to try to change the style a little bit and I'm going to change the font to make it a little bit more techy. Just like that, we have a quick little design. There's many features inside here to make this a lot nicer and easier. You can upload a bunch of different media. You can create visuals yourself through the generation. They have photos that are taken from stock photo websites, graphics that you can also use, even a bunch of videos like these background videos, animal videos. And it seems like they have the brand kit here inside. So it was actually available all along. But now that I'm happy with it, I'm going to click on download as a PNG. So now you've seen everything Microsoft designer can do. What I like the most is that you never have to start from a blank page anymore. Remember to check out our sponsors in the description down below. Also click the video on the screen right now to see more videos from me. That's all. Talk soon.